Robert Lewis, Ambassador of St. Lucia to the Republic of China, Taiwan. On Wednesday morning at about 7.58 a.m. Taiwan time, that's April 3rd, the country was hit by a 7.2 earthquake. It is the biggest earthquake to hit the Republic of China, Taiwan in the last 25 years. Of course, the Embassy of St. Lucia, through its network of student liaisons in various parts of Taiwan, and with the assistance of Thai Lucian, the St. Lucian Student Association in Taiwan, were able to reach as many students as possible to ascertain their well-beings. We got, throughout the day, we got updates and feedback from the students, giving us information as to whether they had met or contacted everybody in their area. And as you'd appreciate, St. Lucia has students in almost all the big cities in Taiwan, um, whether it's Taipei, Taoyuan, Xinju, Kaohsiung, Tainan, and in Walian. And we were able to find our students, Andrew, that there was no report of any damage to any student, St. Lucian student that is, or St. Lucians who reside in Taiwan. There are approximately 200 St. Lucian students or St. Lucian citizens in Taiwan at the moment and up to probably you can say 2, 2 a.m. Thursday, April 4, Taiwan time, I had not been told that anybody was hurt during the earthquake. So I just want to say to everyone in St. Lucia that the St. Lucian students are accounted for. I, I think there was only one parent who said that he had not heard from his daughter and he called earlier today through the Ministry of Education to speak to me. And I think within the hour we were able to look, to ask the student to call that parent. So, but we, we are doing well. I think we want to commiserate with the people and government of Taiwan. Taiwan is a big development partner for St. Lucia. They assist us with a number of our projects and a lot of our socioeconomic programs in St. Lucia and we really want to, to extend our um, condolences to those who have lost loved ones um, in, in Taiwan during this earthquake. Again, it was a 7.2 magnitude earthquake and we want to really extend our condolences to the families of those who lost loved ones during that earthquake and to say to the Taiwanese people that we stand in solidarity with them, our prayers and our thoughts are with them at this time. I should have said earlier that the earthquake was really close to a part of Taiwan called Walian. We do have some 10 students in that area of Taiwan, but our students are not in the exact vicinity of some of the damages that you would have seen in, on the world news. But in any case, they are affected in the sense that uh, this morning when if some of them were trying to get the train, the train was not running at a particular time. But all I want to say is that we have been able to get in touch with almost everybody. We've got some feedback from our various liaison officers and Taiwan, Tai Lushan, with the St. Louis Association. And we want to say that at the moment, we can say that we can account for our students in Taiwan.